five people, two adults and three children are dead after that small plane crashed off I-40 last night in West Nashville. Earlier today, you can see the crews hauling away pieces of that wreckage. News 2's Kendall Ashman joins us live from the scene after hearing from transportation officials. Kendall, what are they saying? Yeah, Mark, well, the names of the victims have not yet been released, but we're told they are Canadian citizens who were coming from Ontario, Canada. Now, we're told they were coming southwest, crashing just right behind me. Now, this is video from the scene earlier today where you can see crews picking up the wreckage of that small engine plane. Now, we're just about two and a half miles from John C. Toon Airport. Just before 8 o'clock last night, the pilot contacted the control tower at the airport saying they had a complete loss of power in their engine. Well, moments after air traffic control declared an emergency, the plane crashed just off the interstate behind the Costco here on Charlotte Pike. Now, the National Transportation Safety Board says this is just the beginning of the investigation. We're looking at the human, the machine, the environment. The human being, the pilot, his or her qualifications. We don't know who was flying yet. Um, how many flight hours they had, how much experience they had at this particular airplane. Now I'm told the wreckage of the plane is now on its way to a secure location in Springfield, Tennessee, where crews will work to reassemble it to determine exactly what went wrong. I'm told that's partly because crews need to be working under better weather conditions, considering it's been raining on and off all afternoon. Park. Kendall, thank you so much. Also, the National Transportation Safety Board asking to send in any new information that could help assist with the investigation. They're saying please email witness at ntsb.gov. And News 2 will continue to bring you the latest on the investigation into this deadly plane crash. You could also find more information at WKRN.com right now.